Welcome to the Talk Like a Leader podcast, where we explore the mindset, skill set, and habit set of leadership communication. Using these tips, techniques, and tactics, you'll be able to talk like a leader to build better relationships and get more done. Your host is Guy Harris, who has more than 20 years of combined professional and military experience in consulting, coaching, and training in areas like team and interaction dynamics, communication strategies and tactics, as well as emotional intelligence. Take it away, Guy. Hi, this is Guy Harris. Welcome to the Talk Like a Leader podcast. In this episode, we're going to talk about the idea of learning to speak accurately. In order to examine this a little bit, I'm going to take a moment to talk about two words that come from the world of measurement, accuracy and precision. You see, accuracy is the closeness to a standard of measurement, while precision is how repeatably or predictably a measurement comes to the same answer. The idea is this. You can be neither accurate nor precise. If you could imagine, say we're shooting gun or arrows or BBs at a target. Shooting in a way that is neither accurate nor precise would have every shot fall to the right of the bullseye and all over the place, up and down the target. So all to the right and all over the place, neither accurate nor precise. Accurate and not precise would say that all the shots are scattered around the bullseye, not necessarily hitting the bullseye, but all about equally spaced around it in every direction. Precise and not accurate would say that we shot everything all to the right in a tight cluster. So everything landed in roughly the same spot none of them on the bullseye, the combination of accurate and precise would say that all the shots hit the bullseye. So in the world of measurement or target shooting, accuracy is related to how close you come to the target and precision is related to how consistently you deliver whatever you deliver or measure whatever you measure. Now, what's that got to do with communication and speaking and talking like a leader? Well, in communication, saying things in a way that accurately reflects the situation, trying as much as possible to avoid your personal bias, unless, of course, you're willing to acknowledge you're speaking from a place of personal bias. But accuracy is related to that ability to accurately define the situation. Precision is related to how consistently you communicate in the same way. So you can be consistently inaccurate, or you can be accurate, and in the world of speech, unlike the world of measurement, if you strive for accuracy, you will probably also be precise. Now, what's the value of that? Well, if you'll focus on being as accurate as possible, you'll probably get precision as it comes along, and you're going to gain clarity, understanding, buy-in, agreement. You're going to improve the likelihood people can understand and act on what you ask them to do. You're going to improve the probability to reduce conflicts and misunderstandings you're going to improve the clarity and understanding of your spoken, and if you think about it in the written world, written messages. What exactly does accuracy look like? I think the best way to describe it is to just give some examples. And I'll give a, a series of examples with comparison statements buried in each statement to come. So one person with a problem does not mean that everyone has a problem. You can say that one person who agrees with you does not necessarily mean that everyone agrees with you. One person or source of information, say if you're searching, researching information, and you find one article on, on the web or one Wikipedia article or one newspaper or a media source, one person or source saying something does not mean that everyone says it. Some people having a problem or a concern does not mean that all people have or that everyone has that same problem or concern. An event, a complication, or a problem that happens sometimes or under some circumstances does not mean that it always happens. If someone occasionally forgets a process step, it doesn't mean that they never do the process correctly. And a person who occasionally says things in an annoying or frustrating way does not mean that they are always annoying or frustrating. The reason this matters is that if you can learn to speak accurately, it allows you to speak in a way that neither overstates nor understates the problem or issue you're discussing. You can walk that line between 
overreacting and underreacting to data or overreacting or underreacting to a situation. Every situation has balance. Every situation has extremes. The goal in communication is to speak accurately so you can strike that balance between the two extremes of a situation. And if you can remember what Mark Twain said, he said that the difference between the almost right word and the right word is really a large matter. Tis the difference between the lightning bug and the lightning. When we're faced with lightning, we don't want to talk about lightning bugs. When we're faced with lightning bugs, we probably don't want to talk about lightning. If something happens once or twice, we don't want to say this always happens. If a person forgot something once, we don't want to accuse them of never doing something. The key here is to strike a balance and learn to speak accurately so that the people around you know what they can expect from you. They know that you will speak truthfully and you will do the best you can to speak truth into a situation. And if you are applying your personal bias or perspective, you're prepared to call it out. It's okay to say, my opinion is X, or here's my perspective on this issue. It's not fair to say, everyone agrees with me because I talked to my best buddy and he agreed with me. Or I talked to my spouse and she agreed with me. Or I talked with my kids and they agreed with me. Or I read one newspaper article or one Wikipedia article. One source does not imply all. One situation does not imply every. We want to be careful of extremes and learn to speak accurately. And remember Mark Twain, the difference between a lightning bug and lightning. Learn to speak about what you really mean and put limits on it and clarity to it so that people can really accurately understand your meaning and take decisive action based on your words without overstating or understating the situation. If you can focus on learning to speak accurately, learning to write accurately in your emails and text messages, you can talk like a leader. This has been the Talk Like a Leader podcast. You can listen to this show every week wherever you get your podcast. If you haven't, be sure to subscribe so you never miss an episode. I'm Guy Harris, and thanks for listening.